We had to create an emergency succession plan in case something happened to the CEO or senior team. We had a, a roadmap for an emergency and so that really felt good to be able to implement such a thing and got us to really think about the next step, which is succession planning throughout the whole organization, because you really have to think about that too. My name is Marnie Flaherty, and I'm with the Canadian Child Care Federation. I started in my early 30s at Today's Family, and we were a small grassroots organization serving probably 30 to 40 families. That was at the beginning, and by the time I left, we were serving well over 4,000 families. Five years uh, before I retired, we realized we needed to strengthen the organization because we grew so much that we needed to get some systems in place in order for us to be uh, accountable to, to our funders, to be accountable to our parents and to each other. We knew we had a lot of work to do, so we broke it down into five steps. The first step was board work, uh, and that meant that we had a board of directors that were very dedicated to the organization, but we didn't really pay attention to the board structure. At the board level, we reviewed our bylaws, we updated our policies, we amended our terms of office. We did a lot and we did it well and recruited the right leaders for the organization at that time. Big step for step one was our succession plan. It was um, clear that we needed a strong strategic plan in order for us to understand our value as an organization and also give direction to not only the operations but give direction to the board on where we're going. So. We created a succession plan. We reached out to funders, to staff, to parents. If you have a plan, you know where you're going. Then we were heading right into step three, which was natural after uh, writing a um, uh, strategic plan. We strengthened our management team. We assessed the organization. We identified key positions. We created new job descriptions. We found that if, if there was a gap, we had to fill it. We had to figure that out. We took the time to understand what Tanae's family needed. We worked with HR specialists to coach us, challenge us, and help us create change. So once we started to think about human resources throughout the whole organization, we wanted to make sure that everybody had an opportunity to develop their leadership skills at every level of the organization, to allow them to own what they do, to find value in what they do, and also processes so that we can celebrate the good work of the organization. So the HR specialists helped us, they challenged us, they coached us, they developed opportunities for us to really look inside, work together uh, with our mission of children and families at the forefront as we developed our HR team, therefore strengthening throughout the whole organization. Step four, the organization was ready for change, is right for change. And I realized that was my time to step back and resign from the organization, that it was ready for me to go and I was ready to let it go. I was careful though, I gave them a year's notice so that I could help for me perhaps or even the organization to take the time to do it properly. So the board was ready, they knew what to do, they developed a search committee, they worked with a search company they did an external national search. They wanted to know that they had given people opportunities. Step number five, my last step, and that's about letting go. Letting go of your responsibilities, letting go of your passion for your organization, your commitment to the mission. Letting go of something that you've been involved with for almost 40 years. It took a lot out of me to go through what I did in order to help strengthen the organization and walk away and feel like I did a good job. My advice to somebody who's thinking about um, succession planning or leaving an organization after being there a long time, you can do it. I'm an early childhood educator just like you. Uh, I've been down probably a very similar journey as you. Uh, you can do this, just plan ahead, plan for the future. If you wanna give me a call, send me an email. Happy to help. Been through it. Would love to talk to you.